This is an exam walkthrough of the grade 12 RT prac exam from November 2019. And we are dealing with the last question, question four. So we have the final hurdle, the final question. So remember in an exam situation, you like going through the exam paper, the time's running out. So you want to make sure that you get as many marks as you can for this question and then try and fix it to make sure that you get the, it working at the end. But make sure that you write everything that you can to get the marks because obviously time is running out when you get here so let's look at this question it normally has to do with arrays sometimes it'll be a single array and then you've got to do some special algorithms on it or it'll be a 2d array so let's see what they've given us here they say a school uses a maze as a team building activity and we have a program that looks like this so there are two buttons so i'm assuming they're going to be two questions so they've already given me an array. Ooh, it's a single array, so it's not a 2D array at the moment. It could change, we never know. Array maze, and it says row count is 16. Okay, so we can go from one to 16, and it takes in a whole bunch of strings. And it tells me that there's a maze and it represents by the following characters. There's an at symbol, which, which indicates the outer border. A hash indicates a wall, and a dash indicates an open space for the corridor. Okay, so question 4.1, this is what we want to do. So there's a combo box called that Q41, and it's got the word maze 1, maze 2, maze 3, and there are three text files, maze 1, maze 2, maze 3. Each text file contains lines of characters that represent the maze, so we will select one a maze that we want to choose from the combo box, and then we want to write the phone, extract the name of the maze. We want to display a message if the text file doesn't exist. Okay, so we're going to do some text file handling. So already there, we can score some marks. We know how to read from a text file. Just use our text file algorithm. And we're going to, if it does exist, we're going to read each line. And we're going to display it and put it into that array maze of strings. And that is it. So there's some examples of what it's going to look like. So it's, there's 16 lines there, and this one you can see the 16. I'm going to think they're all 16. So let's have a look. Let's go to the program. So over here, we've got our program. I've already got the mazes ready there. So you can see 16 lines for maze 1, 16 for, line for maze 2, and 16 for maze 3. So there we've got three different mazes. So when we click on this button, we want to do code over here. So first of all, we want to get the maze that is from this combo box. Okay, so what does the field, what does it look like inside that combo box? I'm going to run it so I can see what it looks like inside because that will determine how we're going to get the name of the text file. So it's maze1.txt or maze2.txt or maze3.txt. Okay. So over here, let's look there. Okay, so it says the actual word maze one. It doesn't say the TXT part. That's something to be aware of. So let's go get that value. So we're going to get the value into the name of the text file. So the name of the text file, I'm going to say is file name. So let's declare some variables here. Is file name of type string. And we're going to say, okay, is file name is going to be equal to whatever's in that combo box dot items and we want the one that is selected so the combo box cmb4 dot item index so the one that is selected so if it's not whatever we go get whatever the value is in that items that'll be maze one maze two and then on top of that plus we're going to add a dot txt so that we can get the text file name so that's going to be the file name for the text file so we extract the one that they, the option they select from there, whatever the word is, maze one, maze two, maze three, and then we just add a dot txt at the end. Then we're going to do our text file handling. So we're going to have to have a text file variable. And we're going to need some sort of text file, not text. Brr. And we might need an S line. Okay. And we're going to put this into an array. So we're definitely going to need some sort of, um, what do you call it? We're going to need some index, some sort of uh, position or R count or whatever, line count. I'm going to call it line count of type integer. Okay. So I'll explain how we're going to use it. So we know text file handling. First thing, we must check if it exists. So if the file exists, now which file exists? We don't know which one it is. Well, we do know because we've got the text file name here. So let's just do some error checking here. So if that file name exists, and it will check if maze one dot if it if that is false if that equals false then we know it doesn't exist then we're going to do 
Yo, no, it does, it does pilot exists. Not show message. Show message. File not found. Some sort of error message, and then we are going to escape or exit. Sorry, exit this procedure. So do do nothing else in this procedure. Just stop. If it does exist, then it'll won't do this. It'll jump to this part of the code. It will never get you if it doesn't exist. It'll only get you if it does exist. And so here we're going to do our steps, which is first of all assign file. We'll be assigning our text file variable to that file name. What file name? The file name in this variable, this string variable. So go whatever it is, maze1.txt or maze2. So that will be in there. And this is my text file variable. Okay. And then we need to start at the very beginning. So let's reset my file. And I'm just going to write the code for a text file, reading from a text file. So I'm going to while not end of file of my file. See, in an exam, you, you're running out of time. So you just need to write things down just to get the marks. Make sure that you get everything. There's a read line. You know there's a read line. So you read line from my file into S line. Did we declare S line? Yes, we did. We declared S line read into that is and then at the end here we're gonna to have to close the file everyone forgets the close file don't forget the close file always close the file so i'm just writing this algorithm down because time's running out and we want to make sure we get all the marks so there we go boom so from then on we can give ourselves more time to think end of while okay so now that we've got that we know that the text file does exist and we want to extract it and put it into first of all s line will be each line of the maze so we want to put that into this rich edit over here which is rich red 4 so we're going to say rich 4linesadd and the way they want us to display it is they want me to display the line number and then the actual hash there's like a tab and then it's okay so we need to record which line we're in Okay, so we're going to use that for our line count. So I'm going to start here. Before we start anything, our line count is equal to zero. So we start with zero. When we read a line, that means we have one line. I'm going to increase our line count. So we are now at line one. Now I can say our line count plus a hash nine plus this S line. But remember, our line count is an integer. So we convert it from an integer to a string so that can fit into the rich edit okay so this isn't putting the array this is just displaying it let's see if we get it right see if it's all working before we start getting into the nitty-gritty so if i select maze one boom there we go it seems to be working and if i select maze two there we go so that's definitely working now the only little tricky part we need to do the part where we add this to the maze so obviously the first line will be in line one of the maze. We've got a variable that's doing that. We've got a variable called line count going one, two, three, four. So that's fine. So in position, our line count, we're going to put S line in array maze. So what I'm going to do here is after I've displayed the line, I'm going to say, okay, in array maze at position R line count. So the very first time our line count will be as one in position one, put S line. Okay. So that will put it into the array. And we won't see any difference in that now because that's going to be done in the back end. We won't be able to see it, but it should work. No maze, no maze found, but because we didn't select anything, but if I select it, there we go. Okay, so I think that's question 1.4.1 done. That was easy, which makes me think that the next one's not going to be that easy. For more videos from this exam walkthrough, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, click that subscribe button, like our videos, Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.